Hello and welcome back to Colonial's program. In our last uh, episode, we went through the first, uh, the first system, the first few levels of the campaign. And so we're going to continue that effort in this episode. But first I want to thank Cookie Legends for giving me the key to play this game for you today. And also I want to talk about this button right here. This button right here uh, gives you the ability to sign up for the uh, for the newsletter from Cookie Legends, and that gives you a special feature in the game. So I want to, um, and it also gives us access to another map, which we will probably play in the next episode. Uh, so, anyways, let's continue the campaign, and I will show you what the special feature uh, that that button gives us in a moment. It's, uh, so we're in System 2A now, which is uh, named Min, and we're going to head to the first planet, Aldu, which is a small planet with adequate resources and medium difficulty. So let's go ahead and launch the mission. Woohoo! System is larger than the former. AI will be able to acquire more knowledge. Hey, you really did a good job. We wouldn't be here without your efforts. AI is doing out as algorithm states. Though admittedly, this isn't quite what I expected. AI expected to travel to a new system. AI is now in above-mentioned system. I was expecting something grander. Not sure what I was thinking. This system looks very similar to the one before. System Min is one of many within the galaxy. Yes, makes you feel rather small, doesn't it? Regardless, we should get, regardless, we should get to work. Let's er, set up an outpost on this planet. Terrain Kriz. There's something special about those crystals. If it's possible, try harvesting them using horn. Okay. So our objectives in this uh, in this mission are to obtain two colonists and stockpile 400 horn. I think I'm gonna go the maybe I'll go the colonist route, at least one colonist route, because we only have 30 supply to work with here, and there's not uh, a it's not a huge map, so we may have to do this. This is the special feature that that button gives, by the way. It makes your AI core have a different skin, which is kind of kind of neat. It kind of just makes it show stand out a little bit on the map compared to the other buildings you might be building. So it's kind of a, just a fun thing uh, for signing up for the newsletter, which, uh, you know, this game is, is fun enough. It's uh, interesting enough to me that I'm willing to have the, the newsletter. So let's place down one more of these and let's also put down over here another one of these to stabilize the gathering of the Icket. Next, I think I want to uh, start collecting the Tsa and Hez so that we can uh, work on some Horm. And so now we can make the horn by going into the fabricator. And now we're making horn. And as you can see, we're already up to 13 out of 30 supply, so this could get rough soon. Our pollution is going up, but kind of slowly, so we might be okay there. Uh, so while that horn is building up, it's going to take a little while. We have 60-something of it. Uh, I guess we could smash a rock here. Uh, we also have these that we want to get rid of eventually, and of course we want to stockpile enough horn for 200 to get those crystals. But let's move to toward the colonist route first. So let's collect another set of these. And then we also want to have another power plant apparently, because our power is going down. Which means also another mine. Collecting Ikit. And then we want to do a... A factory making oxygen and water, one of each. That reduces those down to a trickle, but it in it increases our sorry our water here and our oxygen here, but our pollution is going up even faster. We're going to have to uh, put down a, a vacuum very soon to combat the pollution, because as the pollution goes up, the maintenance goes up. So you want to be careful with that. Uh, speaking of being careful, we need to increase the power. Our Ikit is stable at uh, three three drills, I think. Yeah, one, two, three drills. Uh, but we do need to increase our uh, Inda 
production because we had gone a little low on that. And our pollution's going up, so again, our maintenance is going up further. Um, we're at 21. We might have a problem, but I think I need to put down a vacuum before too long. Otherwise, looks like we might have halted this. Oh, it's coming down slightly. Excellent. So now we have a little bit of extra uh, Sa and Hez, so we should be able to start fabricating land now. This needs a uh, storage network, so we'll put one of those down here, and then we can start fabricating that. And there goes our power again. Um, let's see, we need to have... Nope, on the wrong screen. Hurry, Wally, hurry, hurry, hurry. That, and then one of these. Oh, we stockpiled our, our harm. Let's uh, smash these crystals. Excellent. And how are we doing on pollution? It's going up again. And we're at 28. Okay, well, let's uh, quickly put down a farm. Oops. We need one of these and a farm. And that puts us at 30. Now we need to figure out how... How the heck... Let's um, destroy this. We have some horn. We'll build more later. But we're going to need to do some more pollution scrubbing quickly to bring that maintenance down. The more pollution, the more maintenance. So let's get that down. And then we can build a habitat and uh, birth one colonist. Well, let's see. What are we unstable on? Land is going down, which makes some sense because... Uh, we're consuming it to make food. Alright, see how much the maintenance came down just from that pollution coming down? It's worth it. And this is the uh, Kida that's made from the pollution in the vacuum. Which we need for rocket fuel, but we don't need a rocket, so we don't need rocket fuel. Okay, so I'm going to delete one of these now, so that we can build our uh, habitat and birth one colonist. That gives us 10 more supply, which is useful. Uh, this now, food is now about stable. Water is still going up. Oxygen is still going up. Pollution is going back up. So we need to replace one of these to continue bringing the pollution back down again. And then once we have enough uh, Inda, we'll need to build our our fabricator again to stockpile the horn. Fabricator and horn. And power is going to become another issue. We have one more uh, mine we can place for Ikit. And then we just need to place another silo and another power plant to stabilize power. So I think I'll go here with that. And then power generator. And then we'll need to place this. And as soon as we have enough horn, there's the 400. Uh, this is frozen, but we can't, oh yes we can. We can destroy this megaflora. Uh, we need out of Inda. Well, we could just birth our other colonists and call it a day. I think we should. Uh, where's our habitat at? There it is. And mission accomplished. Time elapsed 7 minutes 6 seconds. Careers obtained 1. AI finds new system interesting. You do? Well, that's great, I guess. Say, what is it you find so interesting? AI is able to explore new terrain and objectives. AI is able to acquire knowledge in the process. Should have expected that, I guess. But did you notice anything else? Affirmative. Chris deposit located. Analysis. Rare, powerful, and shiny. Difficult to extract. I believe you may use them to upgrade yourself. Beep boop. No fair. So, we now get this available uh, option over here. View AIC upgrades. The AI core upgrades. 
and that gives us access to this screen that has a bunch of upgrades available to the AI core here. Uh, we can only unlock the tier one, one of the tier one uh, things because they only have one of the crits, so we can only un unlock one upgrade. So we have the choice between generation, which uh, causes the AI core to produce more inda and power, which isn't a bad thing because that means more materials and more power production uh, natively, or uh, we can stockpile, which will increase the starting power in Inda, uh, which just gives us a little bit of extra time. I would rather have the supply, the production, than the supply, I think, or the stockpile. But we could look at what, what we get after those, because uh, one unlocks two, and then two unlocks three, in, in kind of like a, a tree fashion. Uh, even though there's no lines here linking them together, that's how they work. So uh, we want to do that. So if we thought about foundation, that would increase the starting supply or durability. That would increase or decrease the maintenance cost per machine. Or we could look at residence, which increases AI core power grid range. Or we could look at production, which inc inc causes the AI core to produce Ikit, Hez, and Sa. I'm still, I still think I want this one. Uh, these two I'm kind of uh, even on different for different reasons, but I definitely want to get this one to go to those next. So let's proceed. Uh, let's launch the mission to the next planet, Inko. Inko is a large planet with abundant resources and is very easy, or is easy. That's nice. It's a large planet with heavy terrain. Okay, let's uh, let's launch the mission. Since we got here, I've been thinking, what's next? Any ideas? AI would like to explore a giant planet. Don't you have anything else you want to do there? Locate and extract Kriz deposits. Ugh, you are, on one, you are one simple robot. Negative. AI's algorithm is very complex. So complex that you can't even understand it. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm sorry. I was actually thinking about those lights from before. Whatever they are, they might have visited before. Perhaps we can find some clues about our purpose. Yes, that's something we can do. Okay, so this is a large map and uh, all, there are a lot of obstructions here on it, rocks and megaflora and such, but uh, we still need to get started the same way as we always do. If you notice, our our power production is going up and our, our INDA is going up because we uh, started off with those options enabled. But let's put this down here and maybe we can start mining that. And then maybe we could do another one I guess we'll go here for the uh, the Inda, and then we need to have some power generation. So let's see, let's put that here, I think. Okay, power's coming up. Uh, we have a six minute timer on this one, and we need to clear all the terrain, so we need to make a lot of horn. So let's uh, see where we can start at. Let's start over here, uh, power there. Since these are the two things we need right next to each other, I think that's a good spot to start in. And then we need to build some more power. I just noticed. It means we probably need more kit. And then we need a uh, fabricator to make the horn. And I think we'll make two fabricators for horn. Just so we can make a lot. Since that's our goal this time. Power's going down again here and now we need some more on there uh, I think we'll go here with this and then there all right so now we can start smashing things uh, sometimes when you smash rocks stuff appears underneath the rocks which is nice or maybe all the times maybe all the times so we'll smash rocks first Yeah, all the times. Okay. And we're out of form now. How are we doing on pollution? It looks like we're doing good on pollution because we don't have... Or we have a lot of megaflora. We can't smash these larger rocks. Those are mountains. Uh, let's keep destroying. should be on this one in the 50s we 
could do a third. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's go power there with extractors here and here. Means we'll probably need one more of these and one more of these. And now we need some more Inda. Uh, we'll do this one, I suppose. And then we could do a third... Uh, fabricator and that one I want to put maybe we'll go here with a silo over here because it needs connection to both networks and then we should be able to smash these crystals and then we can start smashing megaflora how's our pollution great oh power's going down again there good destroy and I don't think there's ever anything underneath the Megaflora. I don't think I've ever noticed anything in either the last episode or the test game that I did. A little bit more. Come on. There we go. Is that it? There's something else. Ah, right there it is. Mission accomplished, 4 minutes and 7 seconds, 1 Kriz obtained. Excellent. Giant planet has been leveled. AI extracted Kriz in process. I was not expecting that. We left no stone unturned. Mimi was insistent in checking under every rock. AI found it delightful to swing the hammer. What's gotten into you lately? Regardless, we didn't find any clues. AI finds missions very enjoyable. AI will await Mimi's instruction on next mission. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Fret not, I'll think of something. All right, we have another upgrade because we had another uh, Kriz. So do we want to do resonance, which... Okay, where's the tooltip? There it is. Increases the AI core power grid range. Or do we want to do production, which increases... Uh, causes the AI core to produce Iket, Hez, and Sa. I think I want this one. It's probably somewhat arbitrary, but... Uh, Planet 3, Ziri. Medium size, scarce resources. Well, it's a good thing we have the AI core producing stuff then. Uh, medium difficulty and alien life forms detected. Hey, hey, I found something. Alien life forms detected. Yes, finally. AI will analyze alien life forms. Analysis, hardy, unintelligent, breeds quickly. Definition, pest. Hey, what are you even talking about? They might know a thing or two. Alien life forms may pose a threat to mission. Exercise caution. Come on, let's go already. Oh boy, alien nests. Okay, so we need to attain two colonists and clear all terrain. Well, that means we need a lot of horn. Um... Let's put down this here, one of these, and let's see, where do I want to put my power grid at? Maybe right here. There. And now we need an extractor on this, that maybe. All right. And then, let's see, I think we're going to have to work towards the horn first, just so we can smash some of the rocks and such and get them out of the way. So let's, uh, let's put down... I think I'm going to do these separately, so we have extra space back there later. Even though it's going to cost more in supply. And then we need a fabricator. Here. Make horn. Now we can extract more. Oh, we need power first. Power is stabilized. Now we need that. Okay. I think we'll start by smashing the rocks. Might be the only rock we can smash here, but at least it uncovered. And the aliens, the alien nest returns. Which is kind of, or it grows, or another one comes in. That's kind of interesting. I guess we're going to just smash all the alien nests. How much harm do we have? One, two, three, four alien nests. 
Okay, how are we doing on power? We're doing good, or uh, pollution, we're doing good. So uh, next up would be to harvest more here and here, and then more power here, and then more ikat here. Uh oh, the aliens are coming coming in force. Delete that one. Delete that one. Okay. Delete one more. Wonder if we, when we smash all the aliens if they stop coming back. I think we can do one more of these and it'll st still be good here. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, let's work on... Uh, what are they called? Factories? Yes. We need a factory to make uh, water. Water comes first. And then we need a factory to make oxygen. How are we doing on pollution? It's going up. Okay. Let's... Uh, Find a place to put, maybe back there, a vacuum. And then we need a place to put another factory. That'll be here. And it's going to need access to the storage grid, which I think we can just put in right here. And now we are starving out of Inda. Let's put one of those down. And now power is an issue. Put one of those down, and then it gets an issue, so put one of those down. Okay, and let's see. Next, we need to make some land. That there. Also, how are we doing on pollution? Okay, we can destroy some of this mega flora. Okay, it's coming up slowly now. We need to be careful. Everything else is coming up too. Let's do a farm, which also needs a storage grid. Uh, let's go here and smash this one. Put it on the storage network. And then, and then, we need the habitat. We'll put that in here, and we need another silo here. Not enough supply. Wait, do you need? Yeah, you do. Talk on it. Hmm. Well, let's uh, destroy this. So we can build a silo, or I guess now we could have put the habitat down there. And birth a colonist. That gives us space, uh, some supply that is. We are out of, um, oh, crud. Need more pollution protection. Put that in down there. Bring this uh, maintenance down a little. And then we need to smash this. And that satisfies that. And then can we get away with one more berth? We can, and mission accomplished. Time elapsed, 5 minutes, 31 seconds. Crews obtained zero. Sadly. So they were nothing special, after all. AI finds alien life forms difficult to manage. Hammer is effective in removing nests. You're too cruel. And I really thought we were onto something. Mimi's systems appear to be malfunctioning. Hey, don't treat me like I'm some petty robot. Mimi is a robot. Mimi is just like AI. Mimi appears to have encountered problems. No, I'm fine. Sorry. I just don't know where to go from here. What should I do? Tell me what to do. Not many planets left to study. AI request, travel to new system. Okay, let's launch mission oh, to uh, planet Sita. Small planet, scarce resources, hard difficulty, limited space and resources detected. Oh, good thing we have what we... We picked at the uh, upgrades then. You're right. We should just leave this place. I don't like it here at all. Negative. AI has experienced many new things. Good on you. But I wish to start anew. This planet is suitable for launching a rocket. 
Location is small. Resources are scarce. Building a rocket will be difficult. Yes, but we must do it. I trust that it must be possible. Okay, so we are here on a very, very small planet. We have to launch one rocket. So that means we need to make some horm because we have to have horm to get there. So uh, let's do, let's see, what can we smash here? This, this, that. Looks like there's four things to smash. Okay. Not much, but not, not little either. Let's go power here and here. And then one of these and one of those. We're going to need the rest anyway, so it won't hurt. Storage goes there. Generator goes there. We'll do two generators and another one of these. And then we can start extracting. Let's put... Put this here, I think. Start extracting for making the horn. Power's still okay, but I think we're going to need another one anyway, so we might as well just do it. Just do it. Hmm. Um, let's do this quickly. I want to smash this rock as soon as possible before this goes to zero, ideally. there, and then this can go here, and now that's stable. So now we just need to make enough form to smash the rest of this stuff, and we also need to work toward the rocket. So we need to collect pollution. Oh, yes, we do. Here. I also need a miner here, collecting more Indu. Inda, sorry. Uh, pollution is now coming down, and I bring it down more. Is there a place I can put? Yeah, right there. 18 out of 25 uh, supply, though. 19 now. I did the wrong thing. These buildings look too much alike, and they're in the same position on different uh, tabs, so it's kind of painful. Let's bring that maintenance down as quickly as we can here, and then we can start making the stuff for rocket fuel is made in the same place here yeah the Leoa and uh, that's the next thing we need actually maybe I'll wait no let's not wait put that down and switch to Leoa that's gonna consume more Ikit and of course the uh, uh, Kita which we're making plenty of now um, as you can see here Okay, fuel's going up, but we're going to need probably some more Ikit. Actually, we don't need more Ikit. How are we doing on power? We need more power. And then we'll need more Ikit. Smash. Smash. Okay, good. We might need some of that. And I think you're the last... Last one. Smash that. Just to smash everything. Because I like to smash things. Hulk smash. Okay, so we have this now, and then we just need to launch the rocket, which means we need all of that uh, horn. And let's get there. Needs power and fuel, and our power is not stable. See if we can find a place. Hmm. Try this. Yeah, I thought so. It's consuming too much ikat now. How are we doing here? Almost 300. Five mountains left. 
this, that's going down fairly slowly, and that's good. Okay, and we are ready to ready to roll. This needs 200 power, and oh, we're not making fuel. I forgot to make fuel. Dog on it. Go here. Not enough supply. Okay. Um. Let's destroy this one. And this one. And then we can make fuel. And that's going to cause our power to come down kind of fast. Hopefully we can compensate well enough. Hopefully we can get 400 fuel before our power comes down all the way. We can also shut off this. Let's news that. That would help power. It actually solves the power problem. Excellent. We don't need any more of that anyway. And we're ready to go. last episode, because I built it down here instead of over on the top edge of the map. Mission accomplished. Time elapsed 6 minutes 33 seconds. Chris obtained 1. It's done. Rocket was difficult to build. Looks like we can leave now. Affirmative. I hope we get something good this time. Warp speed activated. And proceed. So now we've arrived at system 3A, Han. And I think this is where we're going to end this episode today. Uh, we do have one upgrade available, but I think we'll save that and uh, collect it at the when we, when we come back to the campaign. The next episode may be the special level that I earned by clicking this button, the special level here, and then maybe one of these challenges. We could try out these challenges. Uh, so we'll have to see. So thank you all for joining me today. Thank you again to Cookie Legends for giving me the key to play this for you, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.